all about the better man for your life with house and home. Yeah, it's all about the better man for your life with house and home. Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to another House and Home show. I hope you all had a great Valentine's weekend with your beloved half and are now looking forward to another challenging and exciting week. Just remember, viewers, that if you want to donate blood to the corporate blood drive, you can do so this Thursday on the 18th of this month. So let us all be noble citizens and help out our countrymen with this. Now to our lineup for tonight, and in no particular order, we have Cooking with Goodman Fielder, Healthy Minds with Dr. Ambi, another edition of our new segment, Snapshot, BSP's first edition for 2016, and another Zene cooking edition. So to start off our program tonight, we now join our friends from Goodman Fielder. Enjoy. <laughs> Good evening viewers and welcome to Cooking with Goodman Fielder. Now tonight I'm going to show you how to make potato salad. Now I love potato salad and for most of you at home who are watching, this is a very simple recipe and uh, you can always go to your nearest supermarket or just head down to the market and buy yourself some potatoes. So I'm going to show you how to make a potato salad. So for our ingredients tonight, we have potato, we have some onion and chopped garlic, so chopped garlic and onion. We have some parsley with chilots, we have some carrot, and we have salt and some pepper. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start chopping the potatoes. Now a good thing about potato is it's uh, like most people prefer to leave the skin on. Well, maybe if I was going to cook the red potatoes, I'd leave the skin on. But uh, potatoes skin contains a lot of nutrients and it's good for you. So, when you're chopping your potatoes, make sure you chop them in half, equal sizes, so that they cook quicker and at the same time. So I've preheated the pot and it's been about 20 minutes. So when you're going to put your potatoes in, make sure to be extra careful because um, the water is quite hot. Do this. Put the lid back on, chop some more potatoes. So like I said, make sure they're all evenly cut and at the same size. So just easy, easy. You don't want to burn yourself with the hot water. So once that's done, put the lid back on and leave that for another 15-20 minutes depending on how well you want the potatoes to be cooked. I'd rather go for a well done and I have the potatoes nice and soft. So now we're just going to check our potatoes. So I'm just going to use a fork. Yep. Now that's soft enough to my liking. gonna put the lid back on put this off okay so now I'm just gonna rinse our potatoes put this on so we're just gonna drain the water off Nice. 
put the lid back on just want to make sure all the water goes down so I'm just gonna leave this for five minutes two to five minutes and we're gonna start with our ingredients we're gonna start mixing so we're gonna add some carrot Now here we have some chopped parsley and shallots. You can always add this after you put the mayonnaise in, but either way it still works the same. All right, so now we're gonna add um, our, our praised mayonnaise. For a healthy choice, it contains egg, uh, ingredients which is good for your body so depending on the amount of um, potatoes you have that's how much um, mayos you want to add so that's about one tablespoon two tablespoons three tablespoons I'm probably going to use about four tablespoons, which is almost half of this container of braised mayonnaise. Yep. So we're going to give it a mix. And then we add our chopped onion and garlic. Give it a mix. So you wanna mix all these ingredients. And now, but I've got a teaspoon of pepper grind black pepper and then about a pinch of salt now as you can see I'm adding salt here sometimes people want to use the salt when they're boiling the potato so it gives it some flavor but it's it's how I like it so So give all that a mix one more time. And now we're going to add the potatoes. Oops, we have some more water in there. I'm just putting half first. I'm just gonna give this a mix. All right, now, sometimes people like to use a um, spoon, but to make it a little easier because the potato is um, soft, I'm gonna use a spatula so I do not break or make the potatoes go more, just to prevent the potatoes from breaking. So we add the remaining potatoes. Give it a final mix. You wanna make sure all the ingredients are mixed together. The potato is nice and coated with the mayo. Now sometimes people like to add um, egg, so you can have boiled egg chopped up into little pieces and then put into the uh, mashed potato. That's something you can always do if you prefer.
All right, I think we are ready. And there you have it, potato salad with creamy mayonnaise. Can't wait to try this. Mm. It's a little bit hot, but that's the way I like it. Some people wanna leave that and let it cool down, but it's delicious. Mm. Thank you so much for watching Cooking with Goodman Filter. Until next time, it's bye for now. That was cooking with Goodman Fielder with the talented Godwin Eki preparing a yummy recipe. Viewers remember to get the best ingredients for your entire recipe or any other of your cooking products such as flame flour, bilas bread, praise mayonnaise and many more. Goodman Fielder products are the ones to trust. Coming up after the break we join Leon Gawi for more of our Shopping with Brian Bell updates. Stay tuned. Now we are in the wet season of the year and I know everything around us is turning green but our concern must be that we do not let the green outgrow wildly everywhere. Therefore for tonight's Shopping with Brian Bell, we have Leon to help us tackle this concern. Take a look. Good evening and welcome to Shopping with Brian Bell. I'm your host, Leon Gawi. Now when it comes to gardening, what brand do you think of? Tramontino, of course. And here at Brian Bell, we stock a huge range of Tramontino goods, especially in the gardening. Particularly, your shovels, your forks, your bush knives, picks and crowbars. So come on, let's get started. Tonight, we check out our range of Tramontino gardening tools. Yes, PNG has experienced some rainfall in the last few months and the wet season is upon us, so it's time to get planting. And in order to do that, we'll need some gardening tools. With the rainfall comes fertile soils that are perfect for growing plants and vegetation. Now here's an interesting fact. According to the World Bank, over 87% of our population live in rural areas where subsistence farming is important, not only for growing and selling their stuff, but also for living in their day-to-day -day lives. Therefore, in order for one to cultivate and grow, they need good quality garden tools. Where can you find good quality garden tools? From Brian Bell, of course. Brian Bell has several great products in our gardening department, but none more so than Tramontina. Tramontina is a brand that produces and exports from Brazil. Founded in 1911 by the blacksmith Valentine Tramontina, this brand is now exported to over 120 countries. It produces cookware, cutlery, and home appliances. Brian Bell is a major distributor of Tramontina, and when we're talking gardening tools, Tramontina gardening tools are the best in terms of quality and efficiency through its design. Now let's see our first range of Tramontina garden tools. Our bush knives, our rakes and our hedge trimmers. Bush knives are a big part of our society and in some places that are so remote you need quality bush knives that will last you several years without falling apart. Here at Brian Bell we stock quality Tramontina bush knives in a range of different sizes from a 10 inch knife for the smaller jobs around the yard like cleaning or trimming small bushes and branches to the massive 28 inch bush knife for the bigger more heavy duty cleaning around forest vegetations to make your gardens. We also sell quality Tramontina rakes that are a must have when it comes to cleaning. Whether it's your yard in the city or your garden plot in the bush, our Tramontina products are your best bet. Also for people who enjoy their gardening and take pride in their yards when taking care of their hedges or bushes check out our Tramontina hedge trimmers and pruners. Now it's important for you, our most valued customers, to understand 
that Brian Bell products are bought direct from the manufacturer, making it of the highest quality and standards. Meaning, our Tramontina garden tools are not only backed by Brian Bell's great service and quality, but they're also backed by Tramontina themselves. Our next range of Tramontina garden tool products are the picks, shovels, crowbars and forks. Now I can't stress this out enough. Tramontina gardening tools are value for money and they're built to last. Now if you're looking to break that tough earth surface, then check out our picks and crowbars. Both are built to last and they're tough, durable and effectively do the job. The material used to make this product can withstand hard contact. All our Tramontina products are tried and tested. Our Tramontina crowbars range from 1.5 meters to 1.75 meter crowbar. On one end, you have a sharp piercing pointed end, mainly used to penetrate deep into the earth's surface. And on the other hand, is a sharp flat edge, mainly for cutting through roots. Now we check out our picks. There are two types of picks we store. One is the pick point with blade, and two is the pick point with chisel. The pick point and chisel head, which is stated, has a chisel head for a wider dig when using. The pick with blade has an even wider blade breaking through and digging up more surface area. With our forks and shovels, we have a great range to choose from. Our Tramontino forks are the best in the business, with its strong tips to break the earth's surface, or its stem and its D-shaped handle, Tramontino forks are the best in the business. With our shovels, now you don't want to get a shovel that'll start bending as soon as you use it. Our Tramontino shovels are built to last, like any Tramontino brand. And here at Brian Bell, you can pick up a fork or a shovel that'll come in handy for your next task. There are different types of shovels for different types of purposes. The round point shovel for digging, which also comes with a longer wooden handle. The square point shovel for transferring material like cement, gravel or dirt while digging holes. Drain spades for trenching, like partitioning or separating garden rows. And transplanting shovels, which are your typical or common gardening shovel. All our shovels are equipped with the D-shaped handle, making it easier to hold and use. This brings comfort to your wrist when you're digging, shoveling or transferring material. Also a notable mention in this department are the fertilizers we stock for different plants, like orchids, and for your home gardening bed or your gardening plot. There is also a huge range of seeds available, like watermelon seeds, corn and cabbage seeds, just to name a few. There are also a great variety of different gardening pots and seedling trays for you, the gardening enthusiast. So as you've seen tonight, Tramontina is the leading brand when it comes to gardening tools. You want tools that will last. Tramontina garden tools are the best for your buck. Come on down to any of our Brian Bell Home Centers and pick up these great Tramontina tools and make the most of this rainy season. And as always, remember, great prices, great products. That's Brian Bell. Good night and God bless. Thank you, Leon. You just reminded me to get myself a Tramontina knife to cut down some of those wild grasses growing in my yard. And I hope some of you viewers have seen what you did to grab for yourselves. All right, when we come back after the break, we take a look at BSB's first edition for 2016. So stay watching. Welcome back. Now take a look at what our lovely Rosemary Umawe has prepared for more of this year's Bank South Pacific updates. So take down some important notes. Good evening viewers and welcome to BSP's first house and home program for another challenging year 2016. We have great and exciting programs lined up for this year but for tonight I would like to begin the year with a very important product that can help you save up. We all want to save for our future need, our dream home, a car or a planned occasion 
and planning to meet those needs requires the first step of planning to save. While some take a shorter term to reach their goals, others can take a few more years. We know that savings and building a savings can be very challenging. Most times customers do not fully meet their savings goals because they use their savings to pay for unplanned and urgent needs that arise. This sounds familiar? To help you plan and grow your savings for your specific need, PSP offers TAM Deposit Product as an investment solution for you. Now I have for our first program this year, Peter Common from our Retail Product Development Team. Good evening, Peter, and thanks for joining us. Good evening, Rosemary. Good evening, viewers. Now, Peter, to be honest, I have no idea of the BSP Term Deposit product myself, so please take us through what it is. So, uh, the BSP Term Deposit product is an in investment account that you can choose to lock away your savings and receive a higher interest rate for an agreed term. Excitingly, it is available for both personal and non-personal customers. Customers can start investing from a minimum of 5,000 kina. Uh, for amounts more than 100,000, interest rates are negotiable. That is definitely exciting with the minimum amount of 5,000 kina. Now, what are its standard features that a customer should know about BSB term deposit? Well, its terms vary from one month, that's 30 days to a maximum of four years. Interest will be paid at maturity where the term of the deposit is one, three or six months. And six monthly or at maturity for terms lodged for more than 12 months, that's one year or more. On maturity, interest can be reinvested with the principal or paid to a nominated BSP account. Prepayments are not allowed. This is very interesting and obviously I know we save for future use, but give us some benefits of the BSP term deposit. You or our customers can get to earn a high interest, high interest rate on your savings that is locked away. There is a secure return on your investment. It is an avenue to accumulate wealth. Your savings can be used as a security to which you can obtain a BSP loan. Deposit is held for a term and helps prepare the customer for your bigger and better investments in the future. Whoa, now I'm really excited. So what are the requirements for me and an uh, interested customer to open a BSP term deposit account? The requirements are pretty straightforward. Uh, firstly, you must open a transaction account with BSP. The new account can be opened at any one of our branches. It's a pretty straightforward process. And then after that, you open your uh, term deposit account. Now the most important question, how will my interest be paid? Interest is paid on your BSP term deposit at maturity or six monthly for terms 12 months or more. The customer can choose to have the interest reinvested at maturity or paid to a nominated BSP account. Can a customer withdraw funds prior to maturity if he or she has a very genuine reason? No, uh, prepayments are not permitted. Therefore, you are, uh, as the customer, you are encouraged to select the best term that suits your investment goals. Again, this is a savings investment. Now, Peter, if I have an additional funds, would I be able to deposit into my term deposit account? You won't be, but uh, you can only deposit additional funds upon maturity of your term deposit. Thank you, Peter, for that insight on the BSP term deposit account. I have certainly learned a lot and hope you viewers out there have done so. Just before we go, Peter, can you just recap back? Sure. Thanks, Rosemary. And yes, recapping our main points on the BSP term deposit account. Minimum account opening is at 5,000 kina. Uh, you can deposit up to 100,000. Amounts above that, you get a uh, you can negotiate your uh, term deposit rates. Terms vary from one month, that's 30 days, up to a maximum of four years. Interest will be paid at maturity. On maturity, interest can be reinvested with the principal or paid out to a nominated BSP account. No prepayments before maturity. It's a great product with great benefits to save for the future. To be eligible, you must have a BSP transaction account. Thank you once again, Peter, and thank you, viewers. That's all we have for you on this segment tonight, but we will come back next month with more information on other savings products. Until then, good night and see you then. Good night. Thank you, Rosemary and Peter, for the update. We all need to do some small investments and savings, so go to your nearest BSP branch and do the needful. There's more coming up after the break, so stay watching. Yeah,
Welcome back. Now we join Dr. Ambi for more of her important advices and suggestions that can supersede your everyday routine in a more healthier way. Enjoy what she has for tonight. This is Healthy Mind with Dr. Ambi, proudly brought to you by Telecom PNG Limited. Hi viewers, welcome to our Healthy Mind Show. Well, every week we come together, we like come on some lo come lo, little topic which we can help ourselves and our family members always. Well, today what are we going to talk about? It is, we are going to talk about the feet. Some time you may talk talk all same uh, seizures, or we talk about convulsion. And so we talk about today, someone with uh, convulsion or serious of uh, fits when they have what happens. Well, someone, if you have a fit, when someone has got it, suddenly what happens when you have a fit? You actually suddenly show there is a changes in the behavior and then you lose conscious and for little time and then they get better and they move on for the for move on in their life. That is called seizures. Seizures are sometimes you meet tok tok low pissing or same low guria, sick guria. Well what can we talk about this sick guria? We know something very important about this. It's that it is something it can come from different causes. So viewers, you know we are going to talk about partial seizures. So now you savvy law uh, generalized seizures, you get on, generalizedly you may talk talk penis, now by fall asleep, now by care up, now partial seizures is narpla kind. Or some sample time what happened, they may occur in a person in very what happens is they might be confused for a while and they know that something is happening, their surrounding is something happening. Some like time I'll talk, oh, me got one plus bell pain come up or this la like kind and by talk talk. Some like time I'll start having some kind of triggers that guria by come up low, hand na leg na bout, but they don't lose conscious that easily. So they, what happens is, th this is the real time that they, the patients who have got these issues, they may not lose the whole conscious. So they might be still conscious what they know, sometimes they know what they are going through. And also many people experience that some kind of aura, they say aura. That time, emolsemol, pilimolsem, sample kind, belt heavy come up or pain come up or some kind of feeling by come up. But although na pull down all them low generalized, uh, you know, fit or something, and by pull down na stiff, na lose conscious, no get low here, and also one pla one pla khan na leg by pull pull him or guria by come up, but all them they may not lose their conscious. Now rapla something also hysterical or conversion in that they are basically is a psychological origin. So they don't really uh, lose conscious at all. They may mimic like fit all by thing all money I'm typing is or I'm guria stop or say I'm mimic straight but through through all non up losing conscious they're still aware what is going on to the reality. So many times we want to know whether are these men you know fit or convulsion or seizures are they a sickness? 
well we want to say many times there are origin to this different so many times you will see this kind of sick if they come before 30 years of old 30 years old sometimes you won't find the cause why you are having this problem but if it's after 30 years old yes you know there is some kind of problem in your body or mind and then it is causing that gurya sick so many times we can't call it as is uh, medical illnesses because the origin is all depends on what causes plenty all sometimes by you looking more same uh, in the past we think is the witchcraft has caused and sometimes people come with other causes so I'm sure I'm going to teach you different causes so if someone has got this guria uh, and if your age group is beyond 30 years they need investigation because we need to find out what exactly is causing so we need to treat them early as possible so we were we, we are coming to the end we want to know what we causes this uh, guria one we want to say so important thing is head injuries if you're bleeding into the head or if you have got other issues the in the brain then it can cause guria sometime alcohol withdrawal sometime like AIDS related directly the AIDS itself can cause or secondary to the AIDS sickness you can have these problems and also you will feel any problems which is like low blood sugar or brain tumors or other kidney or liver diseases you can have uh, specifically this guria sick so what we have to know how to deal with this problem we need in this particular episode we are talking about what is guria what is convulsion what causes all this problem well i want to uh, in the next episode that means the next week we are going to talk more on us how we could look after how we are going to manage this all what i have to tell you this time is anybody who has got seizures or fit well there are other uh, supernatural issues which i'm not going to discuss here all what i want to tell you all is important to take this patient to take it to a doctor must see by a doctor and all must investigate one him something through through wrong lord this man and all by walking blood test all by walking uh, x-ray blob guru or mri all kind kind thing to find out exactly because we need to treat this convulsion or sick guria to stay healthy because if you don't do that it can also cause negative effect on the person and the family well viewers we have learned um, basic things about guria stay tuned with our healthy mind next week we will talk about how we could manage this issue until then take care now god bless you bye bye now Healthy Mind was proudly brought to you by Telecom P&G Limited. Thank you for that, Dr. Ambi. And viewers, remember, Dr. Ambi segments can be viewed on our House and Home Programs tab in the MTV Online website. So check it out. Now there's more coming up after the break, so do not leave that seat. Now let us take a look at what Chef Viari and Raylin has prepared for you viewers for this edition of Cooking with Zaneg. Good morning, natural viewers. Me Chef Viari, me like talk. Welcome back to another plate. Zaneg cooking show on tonight. Tonight, by me cooking Zaneg chicken citrus and vegetable pot roast. By me using. Zinek chicken whole bed size 16. Okay, before you cook, me like uh, talking really, but I talk more on Zinek chickens. Blame me. Really? Thank you, Chef Wary. Hi, viewers, and welcome again to tonight's Zinek cooking show. Tonight, we will be using Zinek chicken size 16 whole bird. Yes. 
Zinek chicken whole bird comes in different sizes, ranging from size 9 up to size 20. Viewers, remember, Zinek chickens are always fresh because they are locally produced here in Papua New Guinea. Now, Zinek chickens, they are selling on a very good affordable price that can meet your family budgets. And they are available in all supermarkets nationwide. Okay, viewers, now by me showing you flower ingredients, believe me, we're buying me using the tonight. Okay, we got one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon pepper, one tablespoon lemon, lemon skins when we cut in pennies, one tablespoon parsley, we got two plug garlic when we chop chop in pennies, two cups of mushrooms, one cup zucchini, one cup leek, one lemon when we slice in pennies, by me using, by me show you plow lock, put in. Use some lemon or chicken blame me. Okay, we got one carrot here when we dice some big flapinis, you can look him. Now we got cow cow loya. Okay, favorite vegetable blame me, by me adding inside the genetic chicken blame me. Okay, loya, we got one cup chicken stock. This is by you find him little packet inside the store. Okay, we got one black cup water. And our main ingredient blame me, you can look him. Genetic whole bed, size 16 blame me, and triplet genetic chicken. Okay, inside lemon, and we'll put him. Or leave us the giblets. Okay, so this lab I go back again inside the bell blow. Genetic chicken blame me. Okay, by me put him on top of the tray. Okay, now you look him skin blow. Genetic chicken blame me by me. Lift him awesome. By you walking the hand blow awesome. Okay, this lab will be a nice recipe. Okay, by mix lemons. Suppose him go inside the low. And then it will skin blow. Genetic chicken. This lab time him cook him by giving him citrus flavor, lemon flavor. So genetic chicken blame me by cook nice through. Okay, we put in pinis. Okay, we got salt. Sprinkle him salt. And tell the genetic chicken blame me. Okay, sample lo underneath. Okay, pepper. Sprinkle him. Sample going to the bell blow. Genetic chicken. Sample underneath. Okay. Now you can look in. Genetic chicken blame me. Are ready? Now garlic. From a sample inside. Sample side side. Inside the chicken, side side, inside the bell. Okay, now by me adding more vegetables, blame me now. Okay, we got mushrooms, layer. Yeah? This is one pot roast, so you can use many kind of vegetables you got lamb, but you can enjoy what the family blew. Okay, me adding mushrooms, now me put them all. Cow cow, blame me, go inside. Okay. Nice pakau kau. You got potatoes, bananas, you can put them inside, pumpkin, any vegetables of you got. Okay? Now, zucchini blame me, go inside. Or leeks. Okay, now carrots. Okay, now by me add them chicken stock, blame me, go inside. Okay? Now, what up, Louis? Okay. Now, I'm your sem. I'm walking on black leg, leg. Hold inside layer, but you put in black blood genetic chicken inside. Walk on black hole, sem. Genetic leg go inside. Okay, now, plus side. Walk on black leg, hold sem. Cut him, sem. Okay, you pull, pull him. Zinek chicken leg blame go inside. You can look him. Zinek chicken blame him ready. Lo go inside lo oven now. Oven me heat him up in this 180 degrees Celsius and by cook. Okay, viewers, now you look him. Zinek chicken citrus and Pot roasted vegetables and go inside now by me cooking for 45 minutes. Okay, really, you got some more to talk about the side of the Zinek company or Zinek chickens? Thank you, Chef. Yes, viewers, remember Zinek Chicken is a locally owned company and we have been supporting some number of organizations okay. like Josiah Home, City Mission here in Port Mosby, our Children's Ward at Palm General Hospital, and uh, Engau General Hospital. So, viewers, Remember, always choose to buy Zinek chickens because they are always fresh and they are locally produced here in Papua New Guinea. 
Okay, viewers. Now, by me cutting the link, let me taste it first time. Oh, that's why I choose choosing genetic chicken because it's meatier, tastier, and juicier. That looked absolutely delicious, Chef Fiari. I can't wait to try out the Zanuck Chicken Citrus and Vegetables Pot Roast at home. And viewers, where else can you get your best tasty chicken of all sorts and fantastic eggs but at Zanuck, of course. Now we go for another quick breather, but please don't go anywhere as we have Snapshot after the break. Last week, we saw Godwin, Teresa, and the songstress Tinzi Mao showing you and giving you ideas for your Valentines. Now, for this edition of Snapshot, Tinzi will show you simple ideas for your summer looks. So, watch and be amazed. Good evening and welcome to Snapshot. I am Tinzi, your host for this evening. Well, for this segment, I've got two outfits to show you. These are my favorite summer outfits. So the first one is a romper. Um, sometimes people confuse it with jumpsuit. So here it is. Check it out. Well, this is my first outfit. It's a romper. I love rompers, seriously. I saw this romper worn by Taylor Swift and I really loved it. But unfortunately, I couldn't find the exact type. But instead, I found this sporty one which I bought for just one kino for a special price at Flex Clothing. Seriously, rompers on a summer day are incredibly easy to wear. Requires very little maintenance. You can just literally wear a romper and no other clothes and be set. But if you'd like to inject some little sense of style into your romper or jumpsuit, to the next level, here it is. 1. To stay super casual, all you need to do is add a large necklace and it's perfect. To do summer layering right with a crop denim vest, instant easy update. If you have a beautiful pattern romper, you may not even need anything else except a bag that matches it. Well, that was my first outfit. I hope you liked it. But if you want to make it more locally trendy, you can just add a basket on or a billum or a handbag. Well, it's all up to you. So moving on to my second outfit, um, it's flannels. If you want to know more about it, here it is. Well, my second outfit is a flannel t-shirt. As you can see, it's stripy. Uh, most flannel shirts, they are stripy like this. And I folded my sleeves up. But if you're a person who loves to leave it hang, it's all up to you. And you know, flannels are considered in cold weather conditions, but there are some selected types of, of apparel that you can wear during summer to save you from the bitter cruelty of hypothermia. Considering that flannels are one of the best things about cold weather fashion, but you definitely don't want to miss out on them. You also want to get stuck in a rut of wearing them with jeans or flats or boots. But there are so many other things to do with a plain shirt, no matter how casual it seems. Well, there you have it. Those are my two favorite summer outfits. I hope you liked it. If you want to know more about fashion or you want to look more trendy and fashionable every day or more for less, make sure to tune in to House and Home every Tuesday to watch Snapshot. Until then, I am Tinzi. Goodbye.
Thank you for that wonderful addition, Tinsy, and I hope you viewers have taken some notes to help you dress up in your summer outfits. Unfortunately, viewers, time has caught up with us, but it's always a pleasure having you, especially on this seventh episode of House and Home. And if you missed out on watching the previous episodes, including parts of tonight's show, you can simply visit MTV Online website to view them all. And always remember, viewers, that there's more you can get out for your home and lifestyle improvements when you tune into House and Home every Tuesday. I'm Marco and Eugenia. Catch you all same time, same place next week. Have a pleasant rest of your MTV viewing. Good night. It's all about the better man for your life.